Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I will be sharing why I created my first Blender 3D add on ever, and of course, I will show you how to use it. The add on is available for free on my GitHub account, and I called it the Image Mapper add on. Now, why I even bothered to create this add on, and what does it even do? So, imagine this scenario with me. We want to create a book, or just papers with unique content on each page. For example, here our client gave us 10 pages and they want us to create a 3D book with all these pages. File1.jpg just has a picture of number 1, file2 will have the picture of number 2, and so on and so forth. For this simple example, each page will have just a number and you will only need to create 5 papers. So let's start doing some real work and open Blender 3D. Now let's delete the default objects, of course, we do not need them, and let's create our 3D papers. First, create a plane, rotate it 90 degrees, and let's duplicate it 5 times. Press Shift D to duplicate it one time, then keep pressing Shift R to keep replicating the paper. Oops, that's a little bit too much papers. Let's delete the extras, we only need 5 papers for the 10 pages we have. Now, let's start by editing the first paper, open the material panel and assign it a material. Now, open the shading workflow from above and let's add the object's data to the material. Press Ctrl T to do that. Note that this will not be valid without the node wrangler add-on enabled, so make sure to go to the edit, preferences and then enable the node wrangler add-on. So now let's continue by creating another image texture node for the back face of the plane. Then to draw the back face on the back of the paper and the front face on the front, we need a mix node. Assign the back face to the second color and the front as the first color. So the factor will be taken from the geometries node, pull a new string from the factor and search for the geometry node and then assign it to the back face option. Now let's continue our work and assign the first page to the front image node and the second page to the back of the first paper to the second image node. Great, now we need to do this four more times. So let's copy all the nodes go to the next paper and create a new material there, remove the defaults and then paste the copied material nodes. Now we need to update the front and the back images of the second paper. Well, seems easy so far, but imagine when you have tens of pages or maybe hundreds, copying the material nodes creating a new material and updating the pages becomes a little bit tedious and time consuming. Also, errors can happen. And if a single error happen in the middle, it can cost maybe a full day of work. So here my add-on comes handy and useful. So let's download it. Head to the image mapper add-on link. Here you can choose to download different versions of the add-on Right now I have the master and the development versions, mainly you are advised to use the master version always, but the development will contain all the better features anyways and it's not far away from the master branch. So for this illustration I will choose the development branch. Now click on the green code button on the top right and click download as a zip. Now. Let's open our project again and install the Blender add-on. Let's go to the Edit tab, then press the Preferences, click the Install button and choose the zip file we downloaded. Then enable the add-on and we're good to go. Press N so the side toolbar shows up, then choose the Image Mapper panel. But first let me close the unnecessary windows. Again, click on the image mapper panel. Now, as you can see, there are tons of options that you can edit. Let's start by the first one, 
the object's name. This property decides which objects you want to assign materials to. In our case, I wrote plane. The add-on will take all the objects in the scene that start with that specific name. For example, the plane itself, plane 001, plane 002, and so on. Now, the second property is the material template. This needs the name of the material that we will be copying to the objects. In our case, our material template is called material. Now, the nested group node checkbox. It tells the add-on to search for the image nodes even inside the node groups. For example, let's quickly create a node group here. Let's choose these nodes and press Ctrl G. This will group the nodes into a group. Now let's go back to the material and see how it looks. As you can see, the BSDF node and the Mixer node are grouped into a single node. The image texture, however, are not part of that group. So we can leave the checkbox on, off, it doesn't have really any effect on the outcome. Next, we have the cleanup option. Simply put, this is a material eraser. So by switching it on, the add-on will remove and delete all materials that have a name similar to the template material name. So let's give it a quick trial and for instance, try to erase all the materials starting with the name material from the objects with the name plane. Click on the apply mapping and all the copies of the material will be deleted. Finally, to the cool stuff, the expression option. This option allows you to write some Python expressions and every expression corresponds to an image texture node. You know what, let's go back to expressions in a bit. Now let's focus on what are the labels. The labels are the assigned names to the image texture nodes. And yes, you can give names to the nodes in Blender. So for instance, let's go to the material and rename our nodes to something simple. For example, the front face, let's call it image one and the back face to image two. Now let's just put these names in the labels property so that the add-on knows which nodes we want to assign the images to. Now back to the expressions. Every expression must return a file name. And remember this, every expression must return a file name. And every expression corresponds to a label. So the first expression corresponds to the image node with the label image one. The second expression corresponds to the second label, second image node with the label image two, and so on and so forth. The expressions can use the OID, object identifier, the identifier we mentioned earlier. The OID or the object identifier is just a number after the object's name. Remember, if the object is without a name, it will be given a 000, zero by default. And now again, the expressions must return a file name of the image that will be assigned to the image node with a specific label that you inputted in the labels property. Remember in the folder we saw earlier, all the files are named 1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg and so on. So we need to procedurally generate the names of these files based on the given object identifiers. So to procedurally do that, type f quotes and the OID multiply two between brackets dot JPEG. This Python expression will return the name based on the object identifier. In case the OID is zero, then we will grab the first page and the second expression of course will be almost similar to it but with the plus one inside the brackets. Also, you need to note that in case you're looking in folders, turn on the recursive search option. If you are not, if you're going to upload individual images, then no need to turn it on. In our case, we will be looking in an entire folder, so make sure to turn it on. For example, I will not turn on the recursive search and let's see what will happen. 
As you can see it copied the materials but couldn't find the files to assign to the nodes. Now we will see why the cleanup feature is handy. So to fix the mess we did earlier when we didn't turn on the recursive option, make sure the cleanup is turned on, do some changes if you will, let's turn on the recursive search and apply the mapping again. Perfect, now we have a very tiny problem. The front side of the first page is black. I just forgot to offset the pages by one because we will have the OID 0 mapping to the file name 0.jpg and we do not have such a file. The numbering system in our files starts from 1. So let's edit the expression to consider this by adding 1 and reapply the mapping. Perfect. Uh, with the click of a button we can edit, change or delete multiple materials from the objects. And that was a summary of how to use the image mapper add-on and its unique points, its string, and that's it.